Good morning. Uh, welcome to a brief tutorial on the conversion from Smart Sheets for PHI information into Google Sheets and Forms. This is in regards to that we can no longer store PHI in Smart Sheets, and so we're moving over or back to Google Sheets and Forms. And there are some deficiencies in that uh, solution uh, that we're not able to duplicate, so I'm going to show you some different ways around that. So the first things first is where is the actual documents. So for the company shared drive, since each department has a company shared drive, the logical place to store the documents, the Google form, and the Google sheet where the data resides from the form is on your company shared drive for your respective team. So for example, if I'm going to go into company shared drive, and you're going to only see the departments to which you're a member of, so I'm seeing all of them, but I'm going down to my first one, the service network team UMUR. This is their Google Shared Drive, and on that Shared Drive, uh, you see Google Sheets and Forms for the UR and UM team. Uh, with inside that folder, I've created uh, all the subfolders for each one of the Smart Sheets that will be converted. Uh, so the one that we are looking at here is Administrative Appeal. And in here I'll have one folder for the attachments. So if there are documents that we're going to attach, we're going to have to do it old school because there's no uh, particular feature to attach a uh, file inside a Google spreadsheet. So we're going to have to do it similar to the way that we would do in Excel, and that is have a column with a link. So we decided that it would make most logical sense to keep all things together. So for in this folder we would have the spreadsheet Google Spreadsheet, which is where the responses are that come from the form, the Administrative Appeal Form, which is the actual form so others can do our data entry, and then any proof documents or attachments will be stored in this folder and we will old school link them uh, in to the actual spreadsheet. Uh, so basically those are the, the items that are going to be there. Now for ease of use and finding these, what we did is we're still using the forms page but I have a subsequent link. So if I go into forms on the internet, just like I did before, no different. And I go all the way down to where I used to have this before. So here's the administrative appeal. What I did is I created a link here. The administrative appeal link will open up the form, but it'll be the Google form. And then the Google Sheet over here will open up the back end sheet if you have permission to do so. So anybody can open a form. That's the same. You know, the form is just a link. It's a secure socket layer link. It can be sent to anybody. And then the actual sheet over here is the back end data. And this is highly secure and this is locked down. So the administrative appeal, you know, this is your, you get your new pretty form with butterflies and different templates. It'll automatically log the date and the time and the user who completed the form. So that's, you know, something that's a little bit different and unique. Uh, but here is the, the basic form has the exact same fields in the exact same order with the exact same rules uh, as we did in the smart sheet. And this can be modified by the team leader. Um, a little bit different as far as like in a drop down box, instead of getting a drop down box, you get a radio buttons. Or if it's one of those check all that apply, you would get check boxes. So slightly different in the presentation, but the content is exactly the same. And then you can submit it. We recommend that you don't send a response to yourself. Uh, there's no need to do so because you're going to see the back end data. So there's everything that's on the form. And then over here, for those that are authorized, if you click on the sheet, this opens up the Google Spreadsheet. So remember in a smart sheet, you basically had the form and the sheet, you know, with inside one thing. Google uses two products to get that done. It uses the form, and you create the form, and then the form, when someone submits it, puts a row of data actually in the Google Spreadsheet. So what we did is the gray fields are the fields that are done on the back end, either by the system or by the staff. So timestamp and username was automatically captured when somebody put in the record. LinkedIn documents will be like a URL, uh, so I can use the link tool and uh, link in a document that I put into the Google Drive folder that we just showed earlier. And then these fields can actually then be completed by staff. Now Google Sheets, of course, will allow multiple users to be inside the same spreadsheet at any given time from anywhere, so similar to Smart Sheets in that respect. 
Here was all the data that the user submitted via the form. And then here are some other uh, internal use fields uh, for processing the request. So everybody can be in here at the same time and look at the, the document. Now a couple things that are different in a Google Sheet that you definitely want to do, and this is something you need to do one time, first time for this spreadsheet, and that is you need to go into Tools and turn on Notification Rules. I'll delete this one so you see it. And you need to set up a notification. This is like the alerts, but they're specific to you as a user, and you have to do it, not the project manager. So basically, you want to sit there and say when uh, possibly something to this effect. Uh, when any change is made, this could be annoying because any of your teammates in the spreadsheet changing things will send you an email. So you might want to do when a user submits a form so that there's something to do. And you might want to do it as a daily so that you just, if 10 forms are done that day, you won't get 10 emails. You can just get one. But this is customizable by you. Depends on how much you want to be annoyed. But you do need to do that one time, first time, so that you get emails for notifications. So that's important that you go in as yourself on the sheet and do that. Now, the other thing that's actually pretty interesting, and you know, we don't have the update row request capability. However, we do have something similar on any cell within the spreadsheet. If you right click, what we have is the insert comment. So if you use the comment, it will take your comment and put your name and date and timestamp in there. And then when people float over that field, they can see your comment and others can comment on there. So this is kind of like the discussion item that we had in Smartsheets, but you're using a comment so they're and commenting on the field. Now, one of the other neat things about it, again, we don't have send update row request, but we have something called a comment call out. So what that is, is if I take a field and I right click on it and I do the insert comment. Just scroll down here. And if I use an at symbol, this is, then I can put in someone's name and then I can go, what that will do is that will actually spawn off an email with the link back to this document and into this cell. So it's kind of like something like I need an uh, approval, you know, for this record or I have a question or something like that. This is actually a call out and you can send this out and it will send an email out and then the person can come in, will get an email and come back into this. So that would be the way that we're going to be able to keep the collaboration going. So turning the notifications on, like we said before, make sure you have a notification rule so that this function will work. And then by using right click and inserting comments with inside the document and responding to comments is how we're going to keep it up to date on documents. Now linking a document, that would just be something to the nature of if I had an attachment in here like this. Remember when I see an attachment, if I right click on it, I can get a shareable link. There is the shareable link for this document. So, you know, you just copy it, do a control C, and then you can come back here and link this in. So if you were in there and you wanted to link that document into this for somebody to look at it, uh, you could use the little link tool here and then just paste that link. And then there's that link inside the, the link here. And then when someone clicks on it, they can open it and it would lo load that document. So we're going to use linking, which is kind of like the old school way of doing it. Uh, and we will link in, we can link one document, you know, in here. If we need to link multiple documents, uh, we could simply link to a folder. And then it would open up the entire folder of contents. That would be one solution. Or we could create multiple linked document uh, columns with inside this document as we grow and need to do it. Um, so we can do 98% of everything that we did in Smartsheets. It's just we have to do it a little bit differently. And we have to use a couple different products. So we're using Google Forms for the form. That's perfectly fine. No issues with that part, except we can't upload an attachment unfortunately. Uh, we have the spreadsheet in the back which is you know much more like Excel and we're doing linking of documents with Google Drive and we're keeping everything together in one folder and keeping it secured in a HIPAA compliant manner. Thank you.